know. Technically, my first experience of a Russian train. Although we got on a train from Moscow, it was Soviet era, very, very, very old. Um, and probably what you would imagine uh, you would find in Russia as a Westerner coming here with your, uh, your preconceived opinions. Um, but this one is the polar opposite. This train is, yeah, it's a lot bigger than the UK train, Mr. Uh, Delsey. Very modern. Immaculately clean. And one of the first things I noticed is a lot of the stuff's written in English. Even the announcement on the tannoy is written in English. So, for everybody that's new to the channel, we're making a little journey. Uh, so, we're in the south of Russia, uh, on the Black Sea, the coast, uh, at a place near Anapa. And we're heading down to Sochi at the moment. We passed through an area that, to be honest, looking out of the window for my UK viewers, and if you're in the southeast, um, looked very much like Polgate to Lewis train uh, with the South Downs in the background and green fields. It didn't look any different. You know, it, it was a bit, a bit surreal. Um, but now we've come through into a more industrial area, I'd say. Some very old buildings, some nice new ones. see or not see and you know as soon as you turn the camera off Bigfoot will run along the tracks and you'll miss it and that's why nobody has any pictures of Bigfoot because that's exactly what happens as soon as you turn the camera off out he comes it's not because he doesn't exist stages. As I said, lots of green, which uh, will probably surprise a lot of uh, UK viewers, but uh, also some Russians as well, I've noticed. Um, Russia's a very, very big place, and uh, there's a lot of Russians that haven't seen stuff like this in, you know, in the flesh. That are surprised that uh, areas in Russia are green and pleasant like this. 
and this this is very very much like the southeast of England. Um, very green, lots of trees, farm fields, uh, hills in the distance. So like I say, very much like the South Downs sort of area where I come from. But yeah, you've got to pinch yourself really. Believe that you're on a Russian train. Just not what you would expect. Power points to charge your laptop and your phone. Um, no hooks, it's all double glazed windows. The windows are really, really big. Uh, so you've got a lovely, everybody's got a lovely view out. The toilets are pristine, absolutely immaculate, very modern. I'm not going to go and film a toilet, don't worry. And my favourite thing, as you're probably getting to know. Yep, rubbish bins. A couple of people have said I'm obsessed with them. If you've been to the UK, you'd understand why. I don't know if you can see over there in the distance. So it's a very pretty part of the world, very pretty part of Russia that we live in. And the houses, it, it's one of the things I love. It's so different everywhere you look you can literally have a you know a soviet era shack almost um next door to a brand new really really up-to-date and modern house um you know it's not like lego like uh, the uk is you know every house in the state looks the bloody same uh, you never see two houses the same here Anyway, just wanted to show you the start of our train journey as we travel down to Sochi and I'll be doing some more filming there. Probably won't bore you with another train uh, video, but just wanted to show what it's like. Even have braille. You can speak to the train driver if you want to. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you noticed at the start of the video, there's a little hammer which is by all the glass windows. So if there's an incident here, it's a break the glass to get out. And guess what? They're all still on their holders and they're not broken or vandalised. It's quite pleasant. Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.